people, we love to make things. To do it yourself, to DIY. In the attic, the basement, the backyard, and in front of a camera. And those camera DIYers, they've got something you'll like. From the TV studio to the studio apartment, they're making something up just for you. It's That DIY Show. Today, I like these too. Viewer's Choice creates the perfect B&B, &B, and the hive mind will show us how to keep our phones clean and tidy. And later, Ready, ready set, set build. build! Cut it, glue it, seal it by. My masterpiece! So, I hope you're ready to sleep on the couch tonight. A couple fights to ruin each other's serving trays, and we go behind the veil with a master woodworker. I'm always looking for innovative ways to uh, come out with another product that hopefully you've never seen before. If you're like me, you uh, realize that it's therapy. It's so good for you, I'm 102. The good life of woodworking, and a whole lot more. But first, it's your questions and your projects on That DIY Show. Hey, viewers, Choice. My daughter and I really want to encourage bees to come live in our backyard. We love the fuzzy little things. Any ideas on how we can make that happen? Hey, great question. You know what? I like bees too. Get out of here. Okay, I want to love them. We're just still working on a relationship that works for all of us. Anyway, I have an easy to build bee hotel, or is it a bee B and b that'll attract local pollinators and give them a cozy place to rest when they're done chasing people like me. We're gonna use this one by six pine to make a box. Now we could make a four-sided box, but we're gonna sweeten the deal and make it into a six-sided honeycomb shape. These 30 degree angles I cut turned out great, but I'm gonna give it a dry fit to make sure that I actually have a honeycomb shape. I'd say the fit is A minus. Oh, I should have given it a B plus. Fits together pretty good. I think I'll give it a B plus. Now there's a few different ways that we could stick this all together. Glue, honey. I'm gonna go with screws. I'm using exterior glue and deck screws because this thing is going outside and we don't want it to rust or fall apart. This would be a lot easier if I had an army of worker bees around to help out. How cool this looks. With a little bit of sanding, it'll be beautiful. It's time to talk about all this bamboo. It's hollow, and the little holes inside are gonna be where the bees live. Now, we have to chop it down so they fit inside of here. I have a stop installed here, so everyone is perfectly cut to length. Each length of bamboo is five feet long. So to chop them down to five inch pieces, we should have about 66 pieces. It's incredibly strong, incredibly resilient, and incredibly lightweight. That's what I love about it. Now you may have to drill the middle out of some of them. Other than that, you're ready to start filling it up. Come on, fellas, build a new house here. Give me a break. I don't know what else I could use here. How about these little pieces of birch? This old pine from a window. This walnut from an old pallet. And how about this old spruce 4x4 that I trimmed down to be nice and square? It's starting to fill up. Let's rearrange a little bit. And try not to get too much wood in one place. It's kind of hard. It's like a puzzle. All that's left to do is drill a few extra holes in these bigger pieces. I mean, extra rooms. Room service! You've had a hard day of work at the Hive. You deserve a comfortable place to stay. Come on down to the Viewer's Choice B&B. 88 rooms, each with their own queen-size bed. Each room comes equipped with a mini bar, queen-size bed, pull-out couch, and, of course, cable TV. 
One night, ten nights, every night for the rest of your life, and it's free. And there's even a honeymoon suite for those who are interested. Whew, gotta be carried away there. This thing turned out perfect. It looks amazing. You know, I have this great workshop and all these awesome tools, but you don't need all of that to do any of these projects at home. All you need is a little bit of creativity. So if you're looking for inspiration, track down the Viewer's Choice team in the streets and submit your question. I'm always happy to help out. We've got hands and we've got plans. What more do you need? It's That DIY Show. Around the world and right around the corner. DIYers and master crafters have something to show and a story to tell. It's That DIY Show. I'm John Robidoux and I'm a woodcarver. If you're like me, you uh, realize that it's therapy and uh, it's so good for you. I'm 102. I make these dual profiles. If you uh, look at them one way and turn them 90 degrees, they'll turn into something entirely different. When I was maybe 14 years old, my father had me out in the woods camping and he was carving paddles and arrows from the, the firewood. So he uh, gave me a pocket knife and I carved myself out a paddle. And it was uh, really therapeutic because wood carving with a lot of patience, you would transform a, a piece of wood into uh, an object d'art. The T is silent, it's French. After that, I did decades of woodworking in the basement, and then when I got this wonderful shop, uh, I carried it on in here, and uh, I'm always looking for innovative ways to uh, come out with another product that hopefully you've never seen before. When you could change one thing totally into something different, it uh, amazed me that much that I had to uh, I had to do that because really plagiarism is the most sincerest form of flattery. You want to see how it's made? It starts right over here 
in the design stage and picking out a design. But today, we're going to put this uh, anchor and a sailboat on this piece of cherry. We're gonna make that work for you. So the next step in the dual profile is to cut out uh, one of these. We're gonna cut out the anchor this time. We just belly up to the saw, and it's a very slow process because it's two inch cherry. But with patience that my mother gave me, a little good fortune and not losing any limbs, we'll be able to get through this in no time. That's one side. We'll tape it all up and we'll get to the other. So next part is to cut out the sailboat. Sailboat, anchor, sailboat. And that's how you do it. It's such a good way to spend the day and you get something that you're proud of at the end of it. When you show your product, see the kids' eyes just go round and, and in awe that you can change one thing to another. And uh, for people who think that they've seen it all, it's a little lesson into, uh, into thinking that there's a lot more out there and the interweb doesn't ruin all the surprises. From the workshop to the studio floor, we've got our eyes on the prize. It's That DIY Show. We're moments away from the main event, another head-to-head -head battle build. It's time to see who will rise above and take home the golden hammer. I'm Hubert McTarnish. And I'm George McGibbons. Let's go see our competitors and their cute puppy. My name's Mark Lamp. I've uh, done carpentry on and off for a lot of my life. Um, my father is a carpenter and built, built ki kitchen cabinets. I know a thing or two. I know how to swing a hammer. Mark enjoys playing the banjo, 90s action movies, spicy food, traveling, electronic music, and fixing his 93 Honda Civic. I'm Karina Mueller and I studied architecture in Germany and when I got here to Canada I started working on a lot of construction sites. It was a lot of like DIY work. The German stereotype is like, oh everybody loves fast cars and fierce and sauerkraut and that's what I'm getting confronted with all the time. <laughs> Corinna enjoys quality tools, being punctual, thrift stores, chocolate, playing the piano and guitar and spending time outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> Hector enjoys people howling at sirens, steak, salmon, soccer, frisbee, and flying in helicopters over the mountains. I'm gonna saw you in half. If you're gonna touch my tools, the next project's gonna be your coffin. <laughs> This week on Battle Build. With only a few boards of pine and whatever tools you find lying about, you'll both have a measly four hours to build a custom serving tray to blow the judges away. Hey, that rhymed. That's perfect. I wanted to build that anyways. That's easy. Cut it, glue it, see you later, bye. This project's perfect for her. One of Karina's favorite foods happens to be uh, this German delicacy and it's uh, actually raw hamburger. Buns with like meat on it. Raw hamburger. Yeah, she's gonna be able to bring that stuff out there on that platter and you know, find someone that's gonna eat it. With not much more than a few pine boards, these two will really have to pull something out of their sleeves to impress the judges. And we know how cranky they can be. Are you ready or what? Oh, jeez, I'm <laughs> born ready. <laughs> ready. Ready, ready, set, set build. build. So my advantages, I can just do a sketch, plan it out, see how much material I have, and Mark is just gonna rush into it. Yeah, right, Mark. Just what? start shopping things. Well, of course. Make a what plan or what? To do? There's a book over there, right there. Maybe you just grab it, and make a plan first. Yeah, I guess maybe I can sketch something up. Set. Let's start with square. What are you building? Uh, you don't need. Simple that. square. Are you doing a square thing? <laughs> Something like funky. Well, 
It's certainly not a simple square anymore. I'm gonna blow her out of the water. Hey, Mark, I need a sharper pen. I think yours is better. No, I need that. Yeah, I know, I know it's better. I need, you, you're fine with that one, look. I just need, like, for a more detailed drawing, you know? What do you think this is? Maybe I can sharpen this in my teeth. Seems like Corinna's all ready to cut. Hey, what are you doing? Whoa, whoa, so, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what? My board's already on there. Excuse me? Dude, Who gets to go you're, first? You're still drawing, so like, no, I'm done that. It's time to cut. Okay, whatever. We only have one saw, so... What are we gonna do? Let's call in Hector. He can decide. Hector? Yeah. The dog? Yeah. Finally, Hector's being put to good use. I bet he was bored out of his mind. Okay, we call him at the same time. And whoever he comes over to... Gets the saw first. That's right. Hector's always been there for me. When I call, he comes to me immediately. He's my very, very loyal companion and would never, ever betray me in any way whatsoever. One, One two, two, three. three. Come in. Come in. Come in. Oh. What? Win. <laughs> Hector! That's my, yes. He's my dog. Win. Never, ever betray me. Fine, use it. You remember who feeds you, right? <laughs> I do. I feed you. Well, the way to a dog's heart is through its stomach. Sounds like Mark will be having a talk with his dog later. Taking your sweet time. Now there's the look of a loving partner. My turn. Mark finally gets a chance to use the saw, while Corinna attempts to assemble her bizarre looking shape. Hector looks like he wants to go home already. Yeah, come check this out. I'm gonna take this piece out of this one, and this one out of this. And it's gonna basically be like two L's overlapping like this. This is gonna blow anything she does out of the water. Rebates for days. Look at those screws. What? what are you using? Really like patio screws or something? No. Trim screws. Oh. That's what you gotta use. Really, Mark? Patio screws? Deck screws? Screws are screws. You don't need fancy screws. Just screw the damn thing in. I don't need your help. <laughs> Take your fancy screws back to Germany. <laughs> it's rustic. Hey, I'm gonna hide this glue on there. She's not gonna have any idea where it is. So much for all that planning. It lines up really well, and I think I'm ready to glue. Ha! Let the hijinks begin. This is my favorite part. Where, where's the glue? Where'd you put the glue? Oh, it's somewhere. I'm ready yeah. to glue, so. That golden hammer is mine. Is that the one you used? Ultimate wood glue, waterproof, superior strength. I think I'm just gonna use that. So huh? Exactly what I need. You can use that glue? Yep. Okay. Mark didn't think there might be two bottles of glue in the studio. You know, he doesn't strike me as a thinker. With a little bit of that super glue and some screws, Coretta's tray is starting to take shape. Took her long enough. It's gotta be good. I'm gonna really up my game here. I'm gonna do a darker frame and a lighter base. Not bad, eh? <laughs> nice color choice. You must be shaking in your boots right now. <laughs> What? What is that? Is that the glue? Oh, that's where I put it. Schweinehund. <laughs> Was? <laughs> now, I'm not a German linguist, but I'm betting she wasn't praising his good looks. Thanks for finding that glue. That's gonna really help me out here. Yeah, right. Orders are going on together. It's a tie for time. Yeah, but there's still lots to do before they're done. Just letting you know. Have you seen any wood filler? No. I sure. see any wood filler around. Huh. Ooh, do I smell more hijinks? Yeah, that was me, sorry. I don't see anyone here. Can you see it? No. Oh, God, what is she up what to? What, what? what? Oh, 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 no! I don't know. But well, I think it looks a bit better. I'd like to think that's how she puts on salad dressing. You mean that's not how you do it? What? Sorry, what? What happened? Oh. She did take it to a level I didn't think was in her. My masterpiece! Oh my goodness. <sighs> I don't know. You did this. What? No, I mean, it's glue. Did you? You think I did this? <laughs> Very proud of myself. What a nice Won't take me long here. I just gotta get rid of this. So. I hope you're ready to sleep on the couch tonight, because that's what's <laughs> gonna happen. 
We're running out of time. Looks like Corinna's mixing together some epoxy. Yeah. Maybe she has one last trick up her sleeve to make her ugh, horrifying tray look a bit better. That doesn't look like woodworking to me. What? It's for the backyard. It's for the outdoor patio, right? There's only 30 seconds left on the clock with lots left to do. You know, better hustle. Oh, I want that golden hammer so bad. <laughs> Mark still has to finish sanding and get a nice consistent stain, while Corinna has the delicate task of pouring the epoxy over her leaves and flowers. And with only 10 seconds left to go, this is no time to be delicate. This is affecting my heart condition, Hubert. Cool down. Uh, are you finished? Are you, I did. Let's go over here. I just finished. Wow. And no thanks to you. <laughs> this glue. <laughs> Let's take a look at Mark's tray first. While something of a simple and traditional shape, the contrast of light and dark stains does make it pop out a bit of natural beauty. It's a good thing he got the glue off in time. And then there's Corinna's honeycomb tray, a beautiful design with an interesting concept of leaves frozen in time. The epoxy, unfortunately, started leaking all over the counter, and that's sure to subtract points from her total. I'm not entirely sure the judges know how to count, though. Let's go to the TV of judgment. Will it be Corinna's leaky piece of nature? Or will it be Mark's nicely stained rectangle? The Golden Hammer, 100% pure gold. Who knows if it's even real gold? 100% pure gold. You know, as soon as men are picking up tools, you're just thinking they're just rocking it. Yeah, I thought I had this one in the bag. I was pretty much ready to run my victory lap. You know, I built a way more difficult shape honeycomb. Golden Hammer's mine. I know where she lives. Even if she hides that thing under her pillow, I'm gonna find it. <laughs> Thanks for watching Battle Build. I'm Hubert McTarnish. And I'm George McGivens. Until next time, keep your tools sharp. And your nose to the grindstone. <laughs>